Hello, my name is Guzira Wilhan. I'm Kazakh. Мы работали с Кордами, чтобы вернуться в Китай и сделать какие-то документы, потому что китайские полиции требуют его позвонить. And while I back to China in Hark's custom, they arrested me and uh, put me uh, to concentration camps. And I, they put me into the concentration camp. I stayed inside the 15 months and the Uh, sent me to six different places, the six different concentration camps in Xinjiang, China. Second July 2017, they sent me to one of the concentration camps, the former number for high school in Inning County, Ilikazak Autonomous Prefecture, and they had one unofficial court, and they sentenced the Uyghurs and the Kazakhs to 15 years, and some of them sentenced to 20 years without any lawyer. They arrested me and put me to concentration camps just because I'm a Kazakh and they sentenced the millions of Uyghurs and the Kazakhs because, because of the Uyghur and the Kazakh. We have to study Xi Jinping's spirit and Xi Jinping's article for 14 hours in one day, and they give us only two minutes to go into the toilet. If we sit in one toilet, more than two minutes, they will torture us. They shock us using electronic button, and uh, sometimes they put uh, uh, very bad torture and uh, beaten us. A lot of things. I already reported a lot of to Western media. <laughs> We have to study 14 hours Chinese language in every day, and we have to study 3,000 Chinese characters. If, the, if we studied well 3,000 Chinese characters, they said that we will get freedom. <laughs> And uh, they changed us while we meet our relatives. And uh, they force us to say to our relatives that everything is okay in here, I'm just uh, studying well. Don't worry about me. Inside the so-called re-education camps, they forced us to eat so-called uh, tablet, called it the anti and they made a lot of unknown injections to us. 
Pastan biz öjürdün tamarına kunarmağımız, kiyin okul salmanın en öjürdün tamarına toymaytın buketik, soba buğuskanın tamarı tek bizge şoşka yetimde jelikti. And uh, at the beginning we can't eat the food which offered by Chinese policies, but after then the injected and give us unknown tablets, we began to eat more and more the foods which they offered us, and uh, they offered us eat pork. <laughs> the policies. Most of them are Uyghurs and the Kazakhs who beat us, tortured us, and the question is all of them are Uyghurs and the Kazakhs. Most of them. They didn't let two Kazakhs sit in one cell and uh, I stayed with a lot of Uyghurs and the other ethnic minorities. The crime is they visited the uh, Central Asian countries or Turkey or say hello to the relatives outside of China. Just say assalamu alaikum the Muslim hello, Muslim uh, and uh, that kind of words they were arrested and sentenced. Well, Married and the unmarried young women girls are taken away at midnight and at the beginning I don't know where they will go but after them I found them they sent to some secret rooms and uh, they led me to work that secret rooms and uh, I washed them, I showered to them. And uh, I saw, I, I witnessed, I saw the bodyguard is Han Chinese police. And uh, I heard that the Uyghur woman is crying. I cleaned this room, and while I cleaned it, I saw one of the Han Chinese guy. I said to them in Kazakh, because I can't speak Han Chinese, and I said, could you took off your foot because I'm just cleaning? And he said, don't don't, uh, don't uh, say that I'm I'm Chinese and uh, I can if I uh, like if only I like I could sit anywhere and I paid the money to come into this place and he said it to me. The because the camera is recorded all of my behavior and the zip began to torture to me and the shock to me with electronic patterns. I saw Uyghur women never come back after they took away to another place, but next day the new Uyghur girls and the women will uh, come to the cell instead of them. We don't know where they are gone. <laughs> after then they moved us to another cell with three Uyghur women and after then one Hui Muslim women and the nine Han Chinese women also. And uh, I stayed 15 months inside the camps uh, before my husband, the Tursunjan Isenele, at Kazakhstan, and uh, he uh, through the 
Kazakh Human Rights Organization's help advocated for me and the Chinese government had to release the me. Chinese Communist Party Secretary Yang Xinping said to me, the Communist Party will pay for me 250,000 Chinese yuan for kept secret the last 15 uh, months which I inside the so-called re-education center, but I refuse to uh, take this money. I afraid I refuse to, to take this money. I afraid I lost my freedom again if I get take this money. After they released me from the so-called education camps, uh, they sent me to one forced labor factory called the Jafan Jowan Closing Fabric located in Ili Kazakh Autonomous Prefecture. Because they forced me to sign one labor agreement working in the inner province of China, and uh, I told uh, I send this information to my husband because this forced labor factory they give us the freedom to use your mobile phone and I send all this information to my husband the Tursunjan Isenel and he uh, offered this information to Serjan Bilash, the founder of Atajot Kazakh Human Rights, and I told the information about forced labor factory, Chafang and Joan, and uh, this information exposed to worldwide media in that day. Because of this, they arrested me and put me to the very, uh, very secret uh, jail for one day. Chinese secret agency sent me to the Horms custom between Kazakhstan and China the 5th January 2019 and they forced me to sign a lot of agreements set and I agreed with them to keep secret and I said in the last 18 months I'm, is, I'm ill and I'm sick, I'm staying in hospital, not in so country education center. I agreed to all of them and I promised them I will keep secret for them. And after I arrived in Kazakhstan and I reunited my separated family, at January 2019, I told all my experience to my husband. And after that, my husband led me to visit Atajot Kazakh Human Rights Organization and say thanks to all the team members, including Sergeant Blesh, and I told them all of my experience inside the camps. After I exposed all my experience inside the camps, the Kazakhstan government began to persecute us and give a pressure to us and the give pressure to us, keep silence, and that as the Chinese agencies tell us, we have a person, we have a lot of agents in Kazakhstan, even you are in Kazakhstan or any kind of corner of the world, we will arrest you again, and uh, this written as it is real in Kazakhstan, they force me to keep silent. <laughs> Uh, 
because of unknown injections and unknown forced tablets which we taken. So I lost my health and uh, I needed to uh, I need I need to check out check, check up to my health. And uh, even in Kazakhstan, we can't uh, we can't uh, rent a uh, house for us. The government officials they forced us to move from one village to next village. At February 2019, I successfully arrived at Dallas Airport in Texas because Bob, Mr. Bob, rescued me from Kazakhstan and Turkey. I'm so happy. Uh, my husband and uh, Atajot rescued me from China and the Bofu rescued me from Kazakhstan. Until now, I haven't been in the hospital four times, emergency center, and the even the experts, they can't find why I have so very bad and horrible pain. And the, the four times I rarely going to going to death and it is very horrible. Until now the experts they don't know why I have so very horrible pain. <laughs> American U.S. border and uh, custom protect confiscated the uh, old clothes made by Jaffa and Joan factory, which I worked uh, forcibly, and uh, they listed these factories the blacklist of American government sanctions. And that's all we offered to the world. I have two wishes. All of my relatives, family members, and so my daughters now in China. They was persecuted. I don't know even if they are dead or alive. We haven't any information. And also the thousands of former detainees like me, and now they are living in Kazakhstan under pressure. And the, all of them, they lost their health, but there are no any medical uh, service for them in Kazakhstan. They are also dangerous in Kazakhstan. Until now, the pro Chinese powers in Kazakhstan and the pro Kazakhstan government organizations blackmailed me and attacked me on social media and the websites in Kazakhstan and uh, also a lot of uh, former witnesses like me also in danger in Kazakhstan so I wish the whole world to pay more attention to the former witness who living under pressure in Kazakhstan. I know a lot of Uyghurs and the Kazakhs released from camps 
but because of a lot of reasons, you can't stand up bravely. The Chinese officials, media, and the Chinese officials uh, tell all of them are who sent to the so-called red education centers, they are criminals, but it is wrong. They are not criminals. They crime, they are Kazakhs and Uyghurs. Inside the camp, they cut the my hands and they uh, forced me to say everything inside the so-called education center is good and they forced us to tell the foreigners and the media to everything is good and they forced us to dancing and the laughing, playing and all of this. We did it because the Chinese officials forced us to take it, pretending as an artist. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I wish all the world to pay more attention. Thank you.